How do I solve word problems using unit conversions in the customary system? In this lesson, you will learn how to work with word problems that ask you to convert units in the customary system. Let's check out this problem. It says that Mara has seven cups of green paint in a container filled with 64 fluid ounces of yellow paint. Which color paint does Mara have more of? Before we start any problem, it's important for us to kind of keep an eye out for what important information you want to keep track of. So I'll see that they have seven cups of green paint and 64 fluid ounces of yellow paint. The biggest prob problem or the biggest issue that we're going to want to solve is what is the question asking us to do? Well, we see that the question that we want to answer is what color paint does Mara have more of? With conversions, if you see a problem that has two different numbers, and they're asking you to, if what is the size of one in relation to the other, it's most likely going to be a comparison of these two. So we're asked to take seven cups of green and compare that with 64 fluid ounces of yellow. Essentially, essentially we want to figure out which one is greater. And that will help us answer that question since we want to find out how much more of something she has. Well, our units right now, we have cups and we have fluid ounces. It would be much easier for us to compare if they're in the same unit. Personally, I like to change from bigger to smaller because we know that if we're changing from bigger to smaller, we have to multiply. Multiplying something makes it a whole number since we're multiplying by just whole numbers. If we were changing and trying to go to compare the bigger measurement, we might run the risk of working with mixed measures and it might be a little bit tricky. So personally for me, I like to do multiplication. You can kind of do whatever works best for you. So for us to compare, we have to change from bigger to smaller. We're gonna change cups into fluid ounces. We're gonna keep this fluid ounces, the 64, we're going to keep that the same. So for us to change cups into fluid ounces, we'll take how many cups of green we have. That's seven cups. We're going to multiply that by the number of ounces in a cup. There are eight fluid ounces in one cup. Seven times eight is going to be 56. So I have, or Mara has, 56 fluid ounces of green. We compare that with our original 64. And we see that 56 and 64, the units are now the same. We have fluid ounces in both. 56 is less than 64. So which color paint does Mara have more of? Mara has more of the yellow paint. Now it's your turn. You have the problem that says that Katie's driveway is 127 feet long. How long is Katie's driveway in yards and feet? Pause the video to try this problem on your own and resume to check your answer. All right. If we were to check our ans answer, here's how we would go about solving this problem. We see that Katie's driveway is 127 feet long, so I'm going to underline that. That's important information. The question that we want to ask is, or answer, is how long is Katie's driveway in yards and feet? Sounds to me like since we only have one number to work with, we're going to want to convert. Well, what are we converting to? We're taking 127 feet. And we're going to convert that. We're going to make that equal to some yards and some feet. The question we want to figure out is, what are we going to do? Are we going to multiply or are we going to divide? Well, we have feet, and we're going to change that into yards and feet, essentially changing from feet into yards. Feet are gr smaller than yards. So since we're changing from smaller to bigger, we're going to want to divide.
But what do we divide? We take our original number, 127. We're going to divide that by the number of feet there are yards. So 3 feet per yard. So we were set up a long division equation. That'd be 127 divided by 3. And we can break that down regularly. 3 goes into 12. four times. Three times four is twelve. We're left with zero and zero. We pull out the seven. Three goes into seven twice. Three times two is six. And we're left with the remainder of one. With a mixed measure, our quotient is going to be our next unit. So 42 is going to be the number of yards. There are 42 yards. And the remainder is our original unit. So we have one foot since our original unit was feet. So as a mixed measure, Katie's driveway in yards and feet is 42 yards and one foot. Today, you have learned how to solve word problems converting units in the customary system.